Hi, I'm Jeremy Morgan from CodeCloud. Today we're going to talk about my favorite text editor, Vim. It's a text editor that's installed by default on many Linux and Unix systems. Now, some administrators out there are probably sweating just at the mention of the name. Folks either swear by it or swear at it. Now, when you think of Vim, these phrases might come to mind. Too difficult. Impossible. Harder to escape than Alcatraz. Now, Vim is easier to use than you might think, and I'll prove it today. By the time you watch this short video and play around with Vim in our labs, you'll say things like, easy peasy. No problem. I'm free. Big promise, right? Well, let's dig in. Now, the first and most obvious tip is how to open a file. Just type in Vim in the file name. And if the file doesn't exist, it will be created. Let's open a file called demo1.txt. And we'll do that by typing in Vim demo1.txt. One of the things that makes Vim different is modal editing. Now, what does that mean? There's two modes for working in Vim that you need to care about, and that's normal mode and insert mode. Think of it like the gears in your car. Park is for stopping and drive is for going. So normal mode is for navigation around the file and manipulation commands. And insert mode is for inserting and adding text, just as you would in a regular text editor. And you switch between modes using single letter commands, so you don't ever have to reach for a mouse. This modal design makes text manipulation extremely fast once you get the hang of it. Now, Vim starts in normal mode. Before we even edit any text, we can move around through it with our cursor. Here are some basic navigation keys. H to move left. J to move down. K to move up. And L to move right. Now watch my cursor as I move around. It's pretty cool, right? Here are some more advanced commands. W helps you move forward word by word. And then B moves back word by word. Zero puts you at the beginning of the line and a dollar sign moves to the end of the line. Now here are some additional handy navigation commands. Now lowercase gg moves you to the beginning of the file, and a capital G moves you to the end. And you can move around the files at will with all these commands, and the arrow keys also work well for this. But you wanna edit some text, so let's do it. Now you wanna switch from normal mode to insert mode, and this allows you to change the text in the file. Just type i to go into insert mode and start typing away. You can go back to normal mode at any time by pressing the escape key, and you can switch back and forth as you go. For instance, I'll type out this line here, but now I realize it's in the wrong spot, and I'd like to copy the line and paste it to the end of the file. To do that, we'll press escape, then YY to yank the text or copy it. Then I move down to where I want the line to go and type in P to paste it. And now I'll write a line of text here. And let's say I want to delete this line. I'll press escape to go into normal mode and type DD to delete it. And that deletes the entire line. Now, what if I want to undo that? Easy, just press U for undo. Now, how do we search through a file? Finding text quickly is critical for efficient editing. I'll press escape to make sure I'm in normal mode and then type a forward slash and then the pattern, which is what I want to search for. And this will search forward through the file. And I can press lowercase n to repeat the search. And I can use a question mark to search backwards. And then you can use a capital N to repeat the backward search. And replacing text is just as easy. Here I'm replacing all the instances of one word with another word. So we'll do percent sign s slash the word you want to replace, then slash the word you want to replace it with. And this will replace all instances of that world across the entire file. Ah, now here's the big issue that most folks have with Vim, and that's escaping, closing down the application. While working with this file, we can write our changes to the file at any time. You press escape and then colon W to save the file. Now, you can do that as you're working through things. If you want to quit the file, you press escape, and then the colon and WQ. And what that does is it writes the file and then quits. And that's it. Now, if you're in the file and you want to quit, but not save your new changes, then press escape and then Q and exclamation point. And then it'll quit without saving. Now we've just scratched the surface of what Vim can do, including powerful regular expressions, advanced search and replace, uh, macros to record and replay, plugins, all kinds of stuff. The key is to start with the basics and get comfortable using Vim for simple editing tasks, and then progressively try new things as you get faster. 
Now, a great reason to learn Vim is because VI, which was the original editor, or Vim, which is Vim Improved, are installed by default on most every Linux and Unix system that you'll ever encounter. So if you learn Vim really well, you'll always have a text editor available to you anytime you're on a system. Now, if you have any questions or concerns, leave us a comment. And if you like this kind of content, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.